Sense of Style brought up an important um, point relating to marrying older Filipino women, that there is no divorce in the Philippines. That is actually correct. You can't get divorced in the Philippines. You can get divorced in other countries, but you will still legally be recognized as being married in the Philippines. Um, for, for This is for different reasons here. If you're an American, British citizen, etc., you can get divorced in the UK, US, etc., and it would be recognized by the UK, US governments, but not recognized by the Philippines governments. This is why some people say, oh, they get married in Hong Kong and stuff like that. I'm not getting into those complications, um, quite simply because doing it that way is the assumption that you're going to get divorced at some point. Um, so from an expat point of view, you can get divorced overseas, but you will still, your wife or ex-wife will still be legally married to you in the Philippines, even though you're divorced outside of the Philippines. Complicated, I know. In the Philippines, you can get annulments. Now, you first thing you've got to do is get both parties to agree and work something out. The prices on this vary. Some people have paid a few thousand. Some people have paid 150000 for an annulment. Sometimes it's worked out legally, where this has been done with some wealthy people, by the way. They actually say the marriage wasn't genuine. They'll, they'll find a legal technicality that within the actual wedding itself, say the priest hadn't done his training course or whatever, just as an example. But I say that because I have no idea what they actually do for becoming a priest, but they'll look for technicalities in how the process went, and they'll basically say, well, you were never married anyway. Off it goes. It's also why you're here. Some of expats have paid the ex husband off in various ways um, financially or whatever just to get them to agree to sign the paperwork because once you get the paperwork done and dusted the annulment's a bit easier to do um, but like I said there is ways around it to actually dissolve the marriage it's not divorce because technically there is no divorce but there's other ways around doing it and I know several expats that have done this because they've met the right person they just have to be already be married because a lot of these marriages you have to remember many many of them have happened at a very young age in certain parts of the philippines if a boy and a girl hold hands that's enough to constitute getting married you know it's it's bizarre but they end up getting married at a very young age and then realize they can't stand each other so they go their own ways there is no hate or anything between them they're just like this was not wasn't a good idea but in some parts of the philippines even holding hands as a young couple um is enough to force a marriage it's crazy i know it is crazy but you have to learn to deal with these consequences um, because if you do meet the right person they're already married you have to understand what their connection is with their ex. Do they even know where they are? Because I know some people have had to go and find them because their ex-partner has been gone for like the last 20 years or something. So it's not a straightforward process, but it is possible. And I know at least four expats have actually had annulments done for their partner so that they could actually get married. Uh, because if you want to go abroad, for example... It's very difficult to take a girlfriend who is legally married to somebody else overseas. <laughs> Thanks for watching.